Hey everyone, Michelle McCarthy here. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new viewers, I want to say welcome. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, make sure you hit the subscription button and hit that bell so you don't miss any of my videos. So today I want to give you a quick update about uh, preschool for my little one. I shared a video a couple weeks ago what my plans for preschool were, what kind of things we're going to be doing for my son. But I've noticed that a lot of the things that I'm doing, he already knows. And I don't want to brag about him, but he's, he's a smart kid. And uh, so we, he's kind of in between preschool and kindergarten. He knows a lot of the things that he needs. Like if he had to go to kindergarten right now, he will be able to do well in a lot of the things, not in all of them. But um, so, and, and he's in preschool right now in a special needs preschool because he's working on his language and he's, you know, developmentally delayed. But, uh, but you know, he's really smart and he knows a lot. And so I, I was, you know, my husband was taught, we, I was talking to my husband and he said, how about you start doing some, uh, you know, kindergarten work in, in, uh, December with him uh, in January at the beginning of the year. I was like, oh yeah, I was like, oh, maybe not. I don't know. You know, I kind of had to think about it a little bit, but when he started school, I saw the things that he's doing in school right now. He's, he's here and knows. So you know, he knows a lot of the skills that you need to graduate preschool and enter kindergarten. He already knows. Um, some things that we need still need to work with him are those social skills because of his developmental disability. And also his, uh, his potty training was working on potty training. So he, he couldn't go to kindergarten right now, even if, if, if academically he could because of those skills. But he, so what I decided to do, I'm going to be doing a kind of a, in something in between kindergarten, uh, preschool and kindergarten so i got a so i decided not to wait till january um uh probably get something else in january so i decided to get the level k primer 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 i always have a hard time saying that word uh course book for the good and the beautiful okay so this course is like i said it's in between pre-k and kindergarten just to work on those skills because this one uh, it works on master letters. He already knows all his letters. Master numbers one to fifteen. After ten, he gets a little bit, you know, sometimes he gets confused. So this is perfect. Learn long and short vowels. He doesn't know the difference between a long and a short vowel. So this will be great. Read simple words. He's reading some words, but he was still working on them. Rhyming, sorting, and more. So this will be perfect. Some of the things he already knows, but some of them will be great for him to prepare him for, you know, the kindergarten. So this is the level K primer that i'm gonna be using with him and from like uh good and the beautiful and here you go so i think this is gonna be really good like the first lesson here lesson one uh is just he's gonna be identifying these letters they play a little game and then they um identify letters okay so he knows the letters. so we th i think this one only has about 30 lessons so we hopefully by the time january comes we will be done with this curriculum and he'll be ready to start working on the kindergarten one he does go to school so i am not going to pressure him too much to work on things we'll work as you know even if one lesson takes us two days to do which i don't think it will but if it does it does um but i just want to you know push him a little bit i know at this age may they shouldn't be doing that more school and he already goes to school for pre-k but only a two two and a half hours in the afternoon so uh so we're gonna try it i am excited i never thought i would be using the good and the beautiful but when i i kept researching and looking and i was like this is perfect and it's so economical and it's it's just you know it looks like i say it looks pretty amazing okay so what I'm going to do probably when we start working with this, I'll come in here and do a video doing a lesson with him so you can see what a pre-K, uh, pre uh, kindergarten primer uh, uh, le lesson looks like, okay? So, and then it has a little book here. It's our first reading book. So it's pretty simple. I have a feeling he's going to catch up, catch on pretty, pretty quick, but I think this will be perfect for him. Um, I'm looking for something for math. Um, like I've been doing some pre-K, like I have some like workbooks from like, I got a target from the dollar section and they're really easy for him. I'm thinking, but I'm not a hundred percent sure because of his fine motor skills. He is a bit delayed in that. Uh, he has a hard time writing, uh, looking at their math, math lessons for a living education level one. So it's a great 
uh, first grade curriculum, but a lot of the skills at the beginning are, you know, kindergarten skills. And I look through the list of, you know, the pacing guide or the, in uh, the, you know, table of contents. And at the beginning is things that he already knows. So I might start with that and just, you know, take it slow. Like it's also very, very economical. I think it's like $30 for the workbook. That's the same math I do with my daughter. So we'll see where he is. I might get that and just slowly work to it. If I, we see that we hit a wall for a little bit, we might just stop and, you know, wait, wait maybe till January and we'll start again. So I hope I'm doing the right thing with this, with, you know, starting some school with him, even if he is going to preschool also. Uh, a lot of the things that he's doing in preschool now, they are review for him. He already is reading a little bit, you know, some, not too much, you know, so his letters, you know, so, you know, so the letter sounds and math comes, you know, pretty easy for him so far. So I, like I said, I hope I'm doing the right thing by doing this. And if, if I feel he's getting too frustrated, I just stop. I'll just stop and then we'll, you know, pick it up when he's a little bit older, half a year from now or a year. But I think this one will be great. It looks, from the looks of it, it looks really simple. And uh, he knows a lot of the things already in here. So I don't think he's going to get frustrated at all just by looking at this. The only thing he might get frustrated by be with his handwriting. We do have a lot of work to do with handwriting. He has a hard time. Like he's able to cut, like, really well. But he is, has a hard time writing letters and tracing. So, um... But maybe this is just a boy. I, I really don't know. But uh, so, yeah, so these are my plans. I'm going to do, we're going to start a level K primer for the, from the good and the beautiful. And we're going to take our time. And if we're done with, the, with this with January, then in January we'll start our, our um, kindergarten. Hope maybe the good and the beautiful, we'll see. You know, we'll, for now, we're just going to do this and see how it goes. And, you know, from what I can see, it looks really good. So... So yeah, so I thank you so much for watching. Uh, I hope this made sense. Uh, I just wanted to give you a quick update because I did share with you my plans for him, but almost all the things that I showed you that I was going to do with him, they're easy for him. So I don't, you know, and yes, at this age, it's just play, but my husband said, why not push him a little bit? My son was born so early and he was born at 24 weeks and I never thought he will be knowing all these things now that I just, I just want to push, you know, maybe push him a little bit. And and if I feel like I'm pushing him too much, I'll back up. So it, there's nothing, you know, nothing that's going to hurt him just for doing a little bit more school than um, maybe, you know, somebody else would do at this age. So I'm just, I, I, I'm, I'm excited. So uh, yeah, so once we start, I'll come back in here and I'll show you, where, I'll do a lesson with him and show you how, you know, how we're doing. He likes to be on video and he does really well. So, okay. So I'll stop rambling. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you on my next video. Bye.